At Barnard village near Varda in the central provinces, people gathered for a prayer meeting to observe Ashti Day, the first anniversary of the immersion of Mahatma Gandhi's ashes. With his soul-searing bhajan, Tukdoji Maharaj, a well-known saint and singer of Maharashtra, enraptured the gathering. Men and women were singing the Ram Dun in chorus. Class, creed and status are set aside in veneration of the Mahatma's transcendent spirit. The governor and ministers took part in the sacred observance. Those who are privileged to hold office are pledged to work for the uplift of the masses. Acharya Vinoba Bhave delivered a sermon from the Upanishad. The Mahatma lives in the hearts of millions. The provincial governor, leading hundreds of people, high and low, takes part in sacrificial spinning. The charka is a symbol of non-violence. Face it with fortitude. Aid can only afford temporary relief. Total rehabilitation demands a complete program of coordinated and comprehensive relief measures. A people's courage is measured by the gravity of the challenge. And the people who meet the challenge have to be supported by others, near and far, the authorities and the public alike. will the morrow bring? None can say. Today you ride an elephant, tomorrow you beg for bread. The wheel of life revolves. Nagpur, the president lays the foundation stone of Gurudev Seva Ashram, a training center for social workers. Dr. Rajendra Prasad stresses the country's need for constructive workers. The center has been sponsored by Sant Tukdoji Maharaj. It will work for the furtherance of social reforms. Inaugurating the Sanskrit Vishwa Parishal session at Nagpur, the president emphasizes the value of Sanskrit. The conference calls for measures to enable Sanskrit to play an effective role in enriching India's culture. I'm not a fool. 